The company behind AI chatbot ChatGPT is working on new privacy measures after Italy temporarily banned it over data protection concerns. In a relatively short amount of time, artificial intelligence like ChatGPT has exploded in popularity. Last week, a who's who list of tech leaders and academics called for AI developers to pause training their models, warning we may lose control of our civilization. Now lawmakers are trying to regulate the rapidly adopted technology, but has Pandora's box been opened? Well, to help me answer that, I'm joined now by Michael Graziano. He's a professor of neuroscience and psychology at Princeton University. Michael, Michael's recent book is Rethinking Consciousness, and that discuss, discusses consciousness and artificial intelligence. And Michael also penned an opinion piece in the Wall Street Journal titled, Without Consciousness, AIs Will Be Sociopaths. Michael, you wrote, as a neuroscientist specializing in the brain mechanisms of consciousness, I find talking to chatbots an unsettling experience. What's unsettling? Yes, it's very unsettling. Uh, I am worried about them. And I love technology. And I think ChatGPT, in some sense, is an amazing achievement. Uh, but you're, you're talking to something that can communicate to people, in some sense, has enough understanding of people to interact with them, but not in the same way that humans do. So we interact with each other in effectively an empathetic way. That is, I understand myself and I understand you and other people in very similar ways. Those kinds of self models and other models resonate. And it's part of our social network and our pro-sociality. And these giant uh, AIs like ChatGPT don't work that way. They, they don't have the same kind of self-understanding or resonance with other people. And that self-understanding is, is what we would call consciousness. And without that, what are the risks? Well, I think that, in effect, uh, evolution came up with a solution for how people can uh, cooperate. And we are arguably the most socially cooperative uh, species. And uh, our entire civilization is, it rests on that. Evolution came up with these tools that we have that allow us to deeply understand each other and fundamentally in an empathetic way by comparison to ourselves, by comparison to very similar properties that we have to other people. This is the root of how we get along and how we're pro-social. Uh, these machines are amazing and they do have some degree of safeguards as I understand, but they don't operate by anything like that principle because they don't have the same stuff inside them. <laughs> they don't have the same way of thinking or the same kind of mind. And so the empathy component is not there. They lack the tools. And so what is there, what is the Turing test for this? What is the test of consciousness that would give you some inc inkling that, that AI is moving towards having this sense of the stuff inside of us that, as you argue, would keep it from being sociopathic? Right. Well, I think that's a really difficult question and something that I've been very interested in. My lab has been very focused on how to build these kinds of things into machines. It's a little scary because you think, why would you want to give machines more human-like uh, abilities? But these are abilities that make us uh, much more cooperative with each other. So I, I, one possible test that we've looked at is what we call the reverse Turing test. Can the machine tell whether it's talking to a conscious mind, a conscious person or not. That gives some sense of whether it really understands what a conscious mind is. But that's just the first uh, little step. There's so much that needs to be explored and understood. And finally, Michael, what can, uh, is there something that's not dark about this? In other words, can, there, can we develop something about our own intelligence and our own minds from interacting from chat GPT? In other words, let's think about it yes. going in the other direction. Yes, uh, there's a small amount of growing research and my own lab is actually looking into exactly that topic of how people interacting with chat bots uh, gain benefit. So when you interact with somebody who's very socially skilled, um, it gives you confidence, it gives you, uh, uh, it helps with mental health, it helps with mood, it helps with self-esteem and it helps you interact with family and friends. And it turns out that at least for some of these chatbots, when people interact with them, um, they get some of the same benefits. Mm -hmm. So people who, especially people who otherwise might be isolated, 
uh, working or interacting with chatbots actually helps them, helps their mental states and helps them interact better with other people. Well, I want to come visit your lab someday. It sounds fascinating. Michael Graziano, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you.